Back in school, we were taught that the laws of supply and demand control the prices of goods and services. This is true, but there are other factors that are affecting the price of wood in the United States. These factors affect you directly. Stay tuned after the bumper for more information. Get the money. Get the money. Over the past few years, lumber prices have skyrocketed higher and higher. Two by fours have gone up 158%. Southern pine has gone up 147%. And the price of studs have gone up 164%. When you compare the prices to September 2019 and September 2020, there is a worldwide construction boom. New housing starts are up 17% between May and July of 2020. More at-home do-it-yourselfers are building decks and other things in order to make living at home more comfortable. Restaurants are using lumber to build more outside seating and outside dining. And last but not least, the wood industry has seen a lot of plant shutdowns due to the pandemic. All of these variables have contributed to the increased price for lumber. However, these are not the only contributors. The United States placed import taxes on all lumber coming from Canada. There's increased cost in flatbed transportation of lumber, more labor cost, and increased prices where lumber is stored, and all of these additional costs are being passed on to the consumers. Lower interest rates have fueled the housing market and more buyers are entering in order to secure a new home. But these new buyers can expect an average price increase of about $16,000. This means increased mortgages, repairs on homes, and other housing structures will cost consumers more. Handyman, roofers, and other contractors that frequent places like Lowe's and Home Depot are seeing the effects of these higher lumber prices and it's causing them business in some cases. There are a few things that we can do in order to lower the price of lumber. Number one, the U.S. can decrease the price of taxes that are being charged on lumber that's imported from Canada. Number two, the U.S. could manufacture more lumber. And number three, manufacturers could do more to ensure that plants are not shut down. Experts believe that with a milder winter, lower demand, and the recommendations that I made previously, that prices could be reduced beginning in spring of 2021. Note, that cash strap builders will look to pass these additional costs on to home buyers. So if you're already in the contract, they may seek to renegotiate because of these high prices. Also, these builders may concentrate on more high-end homes because they have higher margins. There was already a shortage of affordable homes before the pandemic. And if home builders focus on high-end homes, this will only make that problem worse. One bright spot that this situation has created is that home values will marginally increase. If you like information like this, please hit that like button, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell so that you can get future videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and get the money.